Hi everyone, so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to sew a notebook. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making and I made these free printables which you can download from my blog. So I did this design with the little triangles and I also did two Christmas designs, well it's one but in two different colourways and they're all available to download for free from my blog. So I'll link that down below so you know where to get them from. So the notebooks we're making in this video are A6 size, so the printables I've made are A5 size, which is half of A4. I've also made them in US letter size, as I know in America and Canada, you have different paper sizes over there, but the same rules apply to pretty much everywhere in the video, apart from when you're marking your holes for the sewing guide. And for the US paper size sewing guide, I'll list the measurements down below so that you know where to poke your holes, and I'll do it in inches because I know you guys are a fan of inches. Okay, so let's start. These are the materials and tools we're going to be using today. First of all, you're going to need five sheets of paper. I'm using 100 GSM cartridge paper. And then you'll need the printable off my blog. Then you'll need a pencil. I'm using a HB pencil. Any random pencil will do. And a steel metal ruler because we're going to be cutting. So it's important it's metal. And this one has a felt back so that it won't slide when I'm cutting. Then a bone folder because we're going to be folding lots of paper and you need a nice neat fold and a craft knife any craft knife will do I'm going to be using a Swan Morton and a needle because we're going to be sewing <laughs> you're also going to need some wax linen thread linen thread is the best for book binding and if it's wax that's even better then you're going to need an awl this is to poke our holes in the paper and I'm using a paper knife to cut my paper but you can use a guillotine if you want or if you have a knife that's up to you I just prefer to use a paper knife and also some ribbon this is just to tie on to the notebook at the end and make it look extra pretty as always you're going to need a cutting mat because we're going to be cutting and obviously you don't want to cut through your bench okay so just grab your paper this is a four size paper and we're going to cut this down to a5 but like I said if you're using us size paper that's fine as well First of all you need to test your paper grain. If you don't know how to work out the grain direction I've already done a video on paper grain and I'll link that down below so you can watch that so you know how to do it. First of all you're going to fold your paper in half, press it with the bone folder and then cut with the paper knife. Like I said before you don't actually have to do it this way if you don't want to. If you have a guillotine and you feel more confident doing it like that then I'm more than happy for you to cut it that way. This is just my preferred method of how to cut paper. Once all your sheets of paper are cut, you should end up with 10 sheets of A5 size paper or half size letter size if you're doing it in US letter size paper. And then you're going to take 5 sheets and you're going to fold them in half. So just knock them up first to make sure they're all in line. Fold over and then press with your bone folder just to get a nice neat fold. Then you're going to do that with the other five sheets of paper. It's advisable not to really do this with all the paper at once just because it can get really thick and it's quite hard to do it with five sheets. Once you've folded them, you're just going to sit them one inside the other. And that's your paper ready to go into your notebook. Just set that to one side and now we're going to grab our printable. I printed mine onto 250 GSM A4 linen effect card and you're just going to grab your ruler and your craft knife and we're just going to cut that in half. Once you've cut in half don't discard the excess because we're going to use that as a sewing guide. Grab your cover and fold it in half. Then just give it a press with your bone folder just for a nice neat fold. Then there you have it, that's the cover of your notebook. And we're just going to grab the paper and we're just going to sit it inside. And then we're just going to knock it up just so that all the papers align inside with the cover. Don't worry if you just have a little bit over the top of the cover because you can trim that off after. Okay, so now you're going to take the piece of card that you put aside earlier. This is going to be our sewing guide. And you're just going to fold it in half and give it a press with the bone folder. 
Then just open it up inside, grab your pencil and your ruler and now we're going to mark our sewing stations. So I'm going to mark 1cm in from one edge, 7.5 which is the middle and 1cm in from the other edge. Then you should have three marks down your card. So fold it back in half and now we're going to pop it inside our notebook and then just knock it up just to make sure it's all in line. And now we're going to poke our holes. So grab your awl and now you're just going to poke your holes going in at a 45 degree angle and coming out on the fold of the spine. So just do that to all three holes. Then grab your sewing needle and we're just going to push through them holes just to reinforce them a bit so when we do sew that they're easier to get in and out of. It's not essential this part, it just makes the sewing process a lot easier. Okay so now we're ready to sew. Grab your wax linen thread and to measure it we're going to do two and a half lengths of the notebook. So one, two and a half and just grab some scissors and just trim it. Then we're going to thread the needle. Now we're going to start sewing. We're going to start from the inside of the paper and we're going to go through the middle hole from the inside to the outside and then you're going to leave about two inches thread on the inside. You can just pin this down with your finger but you can't let go the entire time you're sewing so I recommend you get some masking tape and just stick that down just so that you don't lose it. Then go into the top hole from the outside in. Pull your thread all the way through. Be careful though not to put it too tight so you don't lose your thread and then out through the bottom hole from the inside out. And then you're going to go back into the middle hole again, to the inside of your notebook. Then on the inside, just take off your masking tape and it's really important at this part that you have a thread on each side of the thread in the middle. If you tie a knot without doing this, your, th your knot will just pull through. So just take your needle off and tighten it up by just giving it a little pull and then tie a double knot. But like I said before, make sure it's over the top of the thread in the middle. Then just trim off the excess thread to about one centimetre, just in case you're not unravels. It's good to have a little bit more. Okay, so you will notice that there's excess paper sticking out your notebook. Now we're just going to trim this off. So grab your ruler and your craft knife and just gently cut away. It's easier if you stand up to do this just because then you'll get a nice straight edge. Put more pressure on the ruler rather than the craft knife just so that it doesn't slip. And then you should end up with a really nice smooth edge. And there's your notebook. I like to make my notebooks look extra pretty so I've got this ribbon and I'm going to measure this at 90 centimeters and trim it off. Then you're going to loop this under one of the stitches on the outside of your notebook. Pull it through to about 50 centimeters, and then tie a knot over the stitch just so that the ribbon doesn't move. Now you're going to wrap the ribbon around the notebook. and then tie it in a bow. Then just trim off any excess ribbon that you have sticking out. And there you have it, a really lovely little notebook, really simple and easy to make, really lovely and pretty, wonderful to give as a gift or just for yourself if you love notebooks. So yeah, well done. And like I said before, the printables are on my website for you to download and I'll link it down below and also if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and yeah again thanks for watching bye